Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sore episode following the theme of book trailers for some of my favorite books. Today's book is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, a controversial and famous novel written in 1936. The movie for the novel was surprisingly made just three years later in 1939, and it has a 91% Rotten Tomatoes rating to this day. The novel begins in Georgia, with the Civil War approaching at the O'Hara family cotton plantation. Scarlett O'Hara's husband dies while fighting for the Confederate army. Scarlett goes to Atlanta to grieve her dead husband, but Union forces trap them there. She meets Rhett Butler, who she convinces to steal a horse and carriage so that they may escape. The Union forces won, but they left extremely high taxes on the plantations, ones that she was unable to pay. She returned to Atlanta to try to raise the money she needed, and was reunited with Rhett. She is so desperate for money that she ends up tricking her sister's fiancé, a wealthy businessman, into marrying her instead. Scarlett insists on pursuing business deals in Atlanta, and she gets into some danger. Frank dies, and her neighbor Ashley comes along to help Rhett, who ends up saving the day. Scarlett has loved Ashley for a very long time, though she ends up marrying Rhett after Frank's death, who was the person who she initially married. Unfortunately, they have a daughter who ends up dying. Rhett has loved her all along, and she thinks that she loves Ashley, but then she actually realizes it is Rhett who she loves. Unfortunately, by this time, Rhett's love for her has faded. What happens next? Do Rhett and Scarlet strengthen their relations and get over the death of their daughter? Read to find out and join this journey throughout change in society and relations. For me, reading this book was an interesting experience. I didn't particularly like the novel, though I think it was still important to read to understand the literary sense of the time. I can certainly understand why it's controversial, why it's disliked by many, and also why it is liked by many people as well. This book is full of love, family, friendship, hope, suspense, conflict, change, courage, resilience, and is truly a book that I would recommend reading. Thank you for listening. I implore you to soar.